I wanted to cover just a little bit about underlay. Um, Janome is super good, V5, at um, choosing underlay for, for you as a default. And later on, as you get to know what you prefer as an underlay, uh, you can set your own things here, but Janome will take care of you until that point. So for a satin line, you'll see just a center run. For a larger, about six millimeter satin, you'll see the single uh, zigzag and the edge run. Edron is this little guy here. And for a tatami or weave fill, it will automatically give you the edge run again. And the tatami underlay goes with that. Then later on, when you feel like you want to you want certain settings and they're not the default settings. You can change these like for, for instance, if this were to go on a towel, um, I would want an edge run and a double zigzag. The double zigzag would help cover the Terry loops. And so it would be very helpful to be able to set those for myself. Another thing I'd like to show you a little bit more here is pull compensation. Now, I covered with you how the stitches on either side here will pull in, making the column skinnier, and how the open end will allow these threads to spill out, and in other words, they'll get higher. If you want to set an actual number, the pull compensation by default is 0.20, but you can, if you need more, go ahead and put in 30 or not 300, <laughs> um, and then enter. And then you can see it, it moved out away from that edge run. I wanted to add a little bit about spacing. Uh, in my efforts to get this video to be as short as possible, I did not hit every one of the spacing um, numbers here. And I just wanted to say, normally for tatami on a regular woven, uh, 0.43 is a good number, and for satin, 0.39 um, is a good number to put in. And at the length, it, 4 is the default, and it gives a nice shiny surface, plus uh, it will keep your stitches down, but there will be times where you have circular-type objects um, where you, you'll need shorter stitches. And then you might want to bring it down to, just guessing here, at something, 3.20. And if you watch down here, we should see the number jump, just because those are shorter stitches. I'm just going to undo that. Okay. There are so many things to cover uh, that I could go on and on, but this is a good point to stop. And I just want to say that I hope that this was helpful to you. And that's it from me. Bye.